Hello and welcome to Reading Abbey RFC, where it all began for England's Jack Willis. Change of Will Stewart, lovely ball to Jack Willis. Now Jack played here right up to under 16s, following in his father's footsteps, who played over 150 games for the first team here himself. We're here to meet the people at the club that played such a key role in the start of Jack's career to support the England boys and him make his World Cup debut. This is It Means Everything. Hi guys, Jack Willis here. Um, I hope you're all enjoying the family day down at Abbey. Uh, I just want to say a massive thank you for all your support throughout the tournament so far uh, and a personal thank you as well for all your support throughout my career and helping me get to this point. Uh, I certainly wouldn't have got to this point if it, if it wasn't for Abbey and making me fall in love with the game, watching my dad play um, from the age of about two or three uh, up at Abbey and, and then going on to play for the, the minis and juniors myself. So. I really hope you all have a great day, uh, enjoy the match and uh, hopefully see you all soon. Thanks a lot guys. Hey, he's always been a loveliest lad, humble to the de to the nth degree. Um, I mean, I've got br brilliant memories of Jack. He's a really good lad, absolute grafter as you can as you probably imagine. Um, uh, and, yeah, and his brother Tom, they, uh, they, they're a, they always come back um, whenever they can, come back to the club, you know, fully, st still fully involved. Um, and yeah, power to them and good luck for everything that they've got, they've earned it. You kind of have a bit of a connection with, with Jack. I know you're a player here yourself, but his partner used to teach at your school. So you always got a bit of like the inside knowledge when something yeah. was happening with Jack. And, and Jack came to our primary school, gave us like a coaching session a whole year. Uh, back in primary school, so yeah, that was a good, great experience. And whenever you see Jack, he's just really nice and really friendly. As a youngster, he um, he was a very intelligent rugby player. He used to take over sessions. The coach would be running a session, and then Jack would take another slant on it and uh, and actually come up. Well, if we try this and do that, that might be better. So yes, he was a very he still is a very intelligent rugby player. You've watched him going up through the age groups and now That's sort of right. seeing him on that, running out with that England shirt on That's for the Rugby right, World yes. Cup. How does that feel? It's great to see and obviously it's good for the club as well. It's nice to uh, feather in our cap. We can say we have uh, two players in the have been in the England squad at some point and that's his brother Tom. So that's very good to see. They can all recognise him on the television now. If they rock up and they're lucky enough to go to an international, um, he generally comes over when he sees the Abbey when he sees all the Abbey shirts and signs them. So yeah, I, I think they understand what is possible. You know, they think that playing at a small club and and then they can see what what the future could hold, which is just incredible for the kids. It is very inspiring, isn't it, for the youngsters to see someone you know come through the you know play on the same pitch as them and have been in the same changing room as them been coached by some of the same people progressing up to that international level i, I think that's wonderful you know my, my group of friends now who are all ex players um, are just so proud of uh, that happening and watching it happening and watching the reaction of you know like the kids are all up here today enjoying themselves tomorrow morning it's going to be a sunday morning you won't be able to move up here for children. I think the three or four hundred kids turn up, male and female, turn up and play and have a wonderful time and that's great. The word community is used a lot and thrown around a lot but I truly believe that is right for Abbey. Um, it's just a whole group of people from very different backgrounds all coming together, all wanting either to play rugby or for their kids to play rugby and to just grow as people. It's, it's, it's a great place. It's fun. Abbey has always been, since time immemorial, has been a family club. Uh, you've got your own family and then you've got the Abbey family. We are very much a community club. Um, we live for the community. We don't have big stands and we don't have big budgets, but we're very much open to anybody and everybody. Whether you've been here 20 years, whether you're here for the first time, we'll welcome you in exactly the same way. Everyone who's involved is incredibly proud of this club and gives up 
hours and hours of service to, to have things like this actually, to watch the kids running around, running around being three, kicking balls around. That's, that's what's really important to us. Reading Abbey to me is, is a club that's kind of waiting to explode. I mean, we've got a huge amount of fields and the facilities are fantastic. You know, uh, my son plays here in the under fives and I'm coaching the, the senior men. So we're kind of coming from both angles, but so I get to see all of it. A and uh, I work a lot with the Colts as well. And yeah, you can just see uh, there's a huge amount of uh, you know, community feel about it. And it, it is a really a community club. Is it really special that there's such a family feel about this club? Oh definitely, that's what we love about it, don't we? You could come up here all the time and there'd always be other little families around, the children can roam around. It's just, it's incredible, yeah, really inclusive. And you're kind of watching your kids grow up with all the other children, aren't you, at this club? Yes, definitely. I mean, Lily's been coming here since she was like knee high and now she's this big. So, no, it's, it's really great. Family friendly. It's really nice because sometimes once we play games, we just get to run around everywhere since there's no matches going on. And it's just got a lovely, nice, inclusive space. I think it's a family environment. Like, most people here, they'll be here from either a young age or they become later age and their kids get involved and just there's something to keep people around like everyone gets involved with ev everyone um, whether it's minis with juniors for colts senior men's or now as we're starting with senior women's and getting into the women's teams the girls teams as well really now it's just everyone there's something for everyone and it just everyone helps out really in terms of the women's program it's a really big women's program here right through from girls in several age groups up to a, a few of the senior teams as well talk me through kind of what it all looks like this is the first year actually that we've had going from under 12s all the way through to under 18s then obviously going into the um, women's section so we've got like a proper pathway now which I think is a real credit to some people at the club um, it's really great to see a lot of, um, of the women's players also help coach the girls so the girls are constantly exposed to what is potentially the future and I think that really helps sort of build the atmosphere and yeah it's really good club I wish I was here when I was <laughs> first playing rugby so yeah it's good. Today at Reading Abbey RFC, we've seen a club at the heart of its community in action. For many, it's a second home and for the people and the volunteers who all muck in to do their bit. For this rugby club, it really does mean everything.